Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another travel video for today. I want to get into the balcony room tour that I had on the Norwegian Epic. So first and foremost, here is the Norwegian Epic and we stayed on the 14th floor and we had an obstructed balcony. And as you can see in the top right, you can see as it zooms in on the deck floor plan that our room was in the front right in front of La Cachina and we were above the buffet. Now I will say this ahead of time, you did not hear a single peep, a single sound from either restaurant. So now let's give you the full room tour of room 14005. So first and foremost, welcome to our balcony room. This is what you see when you open the door and that's your grand entrance. Now, the, one of the very weird things about the Norwegian Epic is that there is no private bathroom area. So you walk two steps into your room, you're going to see a toilet area on your left. And you're gonna be like, holy cow, there is a toilet right there. Well. It is there and that is just a design of the Norwegian Epic. Now you go five steps in, your sink is gonna be on the exterior of your toilet area. And you're gonna, it's kind of weird, but in reality, I did not mind it because you know, it's the sink was nice and they it came with a lot of storage. And as you can see right there, we did store a bunch of things. So basically your bathroom area is in the front entrance area of your balcony room now right there is the shower and it came with a couple hooks and honest honest to god so i was just on the norwegian sky and this is a very big shower i uh, my girlfriend and i we truly did like the shower area it was very huge we had zero issues with it i guess the only issue is that it's not in a private area or like it doesn't have its own little bathroom area but overall if you're with a significant other, I didn't think it was terrible, but I guess if you have like siblings or whatnot, I guess, you know, you might want that extra privacy. So what the Norwegian Sky balcony room has a lot of is storage. And as you can see right here, this is one of the storage closets, my clothes, all, well not all, but a lot of them were in this storage closet. You could tell that we fit in a normal size travel suitcase and overall very, very, very spacious. So now here's your vanity area and as well as you see my ugly self, you know, just a normal typical vanity area. I didn't think it was anything too crazy. Here is your safe and more storage and your flow waters. Remember to stay hydrated on your cruise. Then below that we have the refrigerator. Do not touch those waters or drink them. They will charge you even if you have the drink package. Just letting you know. Then it does come with a hair dryer. Most women want to know that because you can't bring your own kind of hair dryer. It has to be an electric, like energy efficient. There you go, an energy efficient hair dryer. So anyways, as we keep going, we had a king size bed and this couch. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand the point of the couch. It just was kind of in the way. Even if you sit there, there's no table or anything like that. But overall, we're looking at the bed again. It was very comfortable. I'm six foot, six foot one. I had no issue sleeping on it. I slept very well and I suck at sleeping. As you can see, your normal cruise ship TV, which is very, very small. Now here is one of the areas where I thought it was completely outdated. You can see that the electrical plug, it's not all put together perfectly and it was kind of dangling. So those are your only electrical plugs in the entire balcony room and as i keep talking or and as everything keeps going there is more storage you can tell my girlfriend used more of the storage she used a lot of the different storage areas where you can keep your clothes she was very well organized those drawers all popped out and right there you can see the bed between the bed and kind of the storage area not much room so there's not much room for activity so if you have kids running around here they're not moving very far like there's not much room to move around um there's additional storage underneath the bed which i found completely by accident because i kicked that black shoe underneath earlier before i recorded this so here is our obstructed balcony view i mean i really don't think you lose anything it's still a balcony in my mind 
you still have a really decent amount of area yeah it actually gives you more privacy i feel like like just to be honest with you i feel like you gain more privacy with the obstructed view and i was completely okay with that to be honest with you i didn't feel like it took away from the balcony or made it any less interesting that's just my personal opinion on it um definitely you can see that they gave us two two normal size like lawn chairs they're not you know they're not the most comfortable things in the world but they do the trick when you want to sit down and have a drink and whatnot i thought overall the obstructed balcony was completely fine and i really had no issues overall with the room and as you can see the room is not very big um you know even if you got an upgraded room it's just overall not very big it did come with some cool light features like you could see that there's lighting on the ceiling and whatnot so i guess my overall review of this room of the norwegian sky balcony room is that the obstructed view is actually okay you can see outside st kitts you still see perfectly well outside but the the parts that are dated about this room like you could clearly see that the electronic outlets have seen much much better days and only one of the outlets actually worked so that that is kind of concerning then if you look on the screen in front of you there is your thermostat so my parents also stayed in balcony room and they had no idea where their thermostat actually was until i showed them so overall um the room is tight but what do you guys think in the comment section below please let me know